Hello guys, it's Gemini Just PR here. I'm coming at you guys with another airport update for the month of July. The time frame for this update is around 6 or 7 o'clock. So it's going to be a late afternoon push. And with me are some special guests. We're going to start off with Gemini Just 1975. Hello everyone. Then we got Aviation J X. Hi everyone. And then there's Aviation Winnipeg. Hello guys. And last but not least, Spotting ADL. Hello, guys. Alright. So, shout out to them. They might be back in the later in the video, but probably not. So, I'm going to mute them real quick, and then we're going to get started. Thank you, guys. Alright. So, we're going to start right here on runway 10. Just holding short, runway 10. Getting ready for a departure is the Delta 767-300 ER. Going to be heading out to Montreal via Atlanta. You don't see this plane much in my updates flying, but this is one of the rare times that it is. So, yeah. Going to move over here to gate Bravo 2. Right here we have a JetBlue old library. Just pulling into the gate from a flight from Orlando. Then over here at the gate, JetBlue Blueberry's tail. Just came in from New York. And it'll be flying out in about two hours to Boston. Once again, over here, this aircraft, if you know the name of this tail, please let me know down in the comments. As it's one of the older ones. I think it's... No, it's not window pane. I just don't know. Please let me know the name of this tail in the comments. All right, and then at Alpha 2, we have the JetBlue Tartan tail. This one's going to be pushing back for a flight out to Havana, Cuba. All right. Right next to it is the Allegiant 757-200. This came in from a flight from Indianapolis via Orlando Sanford not too long ago. And it'll be making a flight out later tonight, out back to uh, Indianapolis. All right, let's move on to this one. Alpha 4, you ready at 300 Going to be flying out to Madrid later on uh, tonight. Actually, no, early morning tomorrow. All right, let's move on to here. Our first new model of the update is this. Fully custom Seaborn Slab 340. Um, I finished it today. It was a C. It was um, a Shapeways model that I ordered. These things come fully transparent, and now I put some paint over it, and it looks like Seaborn. The letters might be um, a little messed up or something like that. But once again, it, it the plane is three centimeters, roughly about like. Two inches, something like that, maybe less. So it's hard to paint. If you guys want to see a video on it, uh, comment down below. Just pulling into Alpha 5 with the US Airways A30 200. Just pulling in from a flight from Philadelphia. It'll be heading out tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, to Charlotte. And right here, we have a beautiful A30 300. Yeah, that's a 300. Delta, it'll be making a flight out to Los Angeles via Palmsview International Airport. Then over here, just rotated Global Airways Koki 1 A319. Gonna be heading out to Genesis 1975's Edward W. Oh no, Edward H. White, Central Texas International. He changed the name of the airport. If you have any questions on it, ask him. I believe the name of the airport was named after the first astronaut to perform a spacewalk who was born in San Antonio. All right. So right here is Delta One. We have Coquille Air Cessna 208. It is done for the night. Flying out. Last Just came in from the last flight about an hour ago. That came in from Vieques. First thing tomorrow morning, it'll head out to Culebra. Right here, US Coast Guard C-130J. 
It is sitting on the stand awaiting its next mission. Um, in about a week or so, it'll head out to Clearwater, Florida, for uh, some training missions. Speaking of Florida, here we have UPS MD-11F. Going to be heading out to Fort Lauderdale International or Aviation J Triple X's airport. Just pulling off of um, runway 10, Cookie Area 320, that came in from Martinique, Fort de France. Oh man, I butchered that one. Over here we have Co uh, yeah, Cookie Air A321 in the Cookie and Puerto Rican Flag Library. This one's getting heavily serviced for flight out to Santo Domingo, and it'll return, then head out to. Let's say, Amanacua. Over here we have Copa Airlines. It'll be heading out to Panama City with continuing service out to DZG Hub International down in Bogota, Colombia. Right here, we have a bit of a situation. So, on board the American Airlines E-190 flight from Miami, there was an incident where a passenger got a little too rowdy and um, used one an object, wasn't sure, they haven't released anything yet, and stabbed another passenger and it's potentially dangerous. So we have the San Juan SWAT team boarding the aircraft now, trying to neutralize the subject, or not neutralize, but detain. And right there we have the fire crews just in case anyone needs medical attention. It is believed that one person got stabbed. So yeah, that is happening in these two flights, Copa and Coquier, will not be taxing out of the gate until this situation is resolved. These two vehicles were made today, fully custom, and yeah. Over here, we have FedEx 208. This is another new model, I believe. This one came in from St. Croix. Yeah. I do not believe I said where this plane came in from, but the C-1 aircraft came in from St. Thomas. Yeah, I totally didn't say that earlier. But yeah, the new aircraft for the Seaborne, the Cessna 208, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for the next update. I do have some more planes coming in. I have... One definitely planned that's coming in soon. Then I have others that I'm planning to order. Oh, and then some other aviation related vehicles are coming in. So, yeah, that's the end of the update. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or anything down below, comment them down below. And please check out the website for this airport, gokiairport.weebly.com. C O Q U I airport.weebly.com. If you want any more information on any flights or any destinations or anything, go check out the website. Also, please go check out the Global Airport Alliance. As you saw those members in the beginning of the, or you heard those members in the beginning of the video, those were part of the Global Airport Alliance. So, big shout out to them and big shout out to the Global Airport Alliance. If you want to join, comment down below and I'll be happy to help you. All right. Jonah's PR saying adios.